Hello, I'd like to answer this question about the navigation using north as zero instead of like in math, we use the x-axis as zero. So everything here is based from north being zero. So if we start our fisherman at his home port and we travel north, but 70 degrees to the west. That puts us right about here, where he arrives at, what is it called? Egg Island. So there's Egg Island. Now, it was a distance of 35 miles, so we're going to also put that on this leg. Oops, I need a pencil. So the next day, he gets up and he travels. Now we need another north line. Now if our reference point is here, where he's starting, then this is our reference point and we're looking from north. So he goes He starts here from north. Oh, I didn't mean that. I need a straight line. He starts from Egg Island, pointing north, and then he goes a little tiny, small 10 degrees to the east. Okay. So this is 10 degrees. If I was going to draw um, an east-west line, it would be right through here. And it would make this um, 90 minus 10 is 80 degrees. Okay. Now, what I forgot to write was this is 70 degrees because we started north and we went 70 degrees west. And if I put my east-west line here, well, this is 90 degrees, so it makes this little angle 20 degrees. Now, if I move it back up here, what I find is that I have a right triangle here. And since a right triangle always, any triangle adds up to 180, you use 90 here, there's 90 left, 70 here, so that means this must be 20. Okay. So now he has arrived after 55 miles. He arrives here at Forest Island. And then he has to make a trek back home the next day, which is from here to here. So 
the thing that they are asking us for is the distance between the fisherman's home port and Forest Island. So this is the distance that they want. Now, if we would just redraw this little triangle down here without everything on it. So let's say this is our triangle. And I really don't want it to be filled in dark. And let's turn it so it looks similar. And let's make it black because it's just every day. This angle at Egg Island is 80 plus 20 is 100. And that's the only angle we really know. Up here at Forest Island, we don't know the angle, but we know there's 55 miles on this leg. And we know that there's 35 miles on this leg. And this is the D that we're looking for. So we're going to need the law of cosines. And um, the law of cosines says that d squared is the 55 squared plus the 35 squared minus 2 times the 55 and the 35 times the cosine of the angle that's sandwiched between them, which is 100. Now, when you plug all those numbers in and take the square root, you get that the distance is 70.13 miles. So we can replace this D here. with 70.13 miles. And that is the answer to part A. Um, what color? I'll use orange. So this is the answer to part A. That's the distance. Now, the other thing they want is the bearing. So if you think about it, he is starting here, and it matters that he is going this direction. So you might think that this is the bearing angle, but this would be a north something west, when in fact he's starting from, um, this is what I want, in fact he's starting from south and going something east, which is how he lands here. So if we could find this angle right here, um, I need the pencil, not that. If we could find this angle right here, which we can because it's just this angle right here, and we can use the law of sines because we now know that this is 70.13. It would help us. Because then we could figure out this brown angle because we know that, if I move my horizontal, we know that This is a 90 degree angle. And so um, that 70 is from the vertical over to here. That's not the angle that I'm showing in purple. So let's go over here and use the law of sines and figure out what that angle is right there. So we're gonna have that the sine of 100 over 70.13 
equals the sine of my home port angle. We'll just call it H for home port. Over across from the home port is 55. So when you multiply by 55 and then do the inverse sine, you find out that this angle is 50.6 degrees. Now, knowing that, I can do 90 minus 20 minus 50.6 and find out that this is 19.4 degrees. Now, how does that help me? Well, let's move this north over. If you will remember back to geometry, we said two parallel lines, like these two norths, two parallel lines cut by a transversal means that these alternate interior angles, this one and this one are congruent. So this one is also 19.4 degrees. Now we have our answer. Because if he starts from south, if he starts from south and he moves 19.4 degrees toward the east, that's his bearing home. So the answer to part B, his bearing is starting from south, we're going to move 19.4 degrees toward the east. And that is the answer to part B. And there you have it.